Hey what's up guys, Matt here from TechRate Reviews, and today Adobe released a major update to their photo editing application Lightroom, and there's actually two versions, Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC. So Lightroom 6 is the standalone version available for around $150. And then Lightroom CC is the one that's part of the Creative Cloud. So whether you're subscribed to Creative Cloud or the Photography Bundle, you can go ahead and download that right now. And they've really made some great improvements in this latest version. So I'm going to count down the top five new features and why you should upgrade. So the first and my favorite feature is the ability to create raw HDR images directly within Lightroom. And it's incredibly easy. So what you do is down below you just select your images from your HDR sequence and you right click on them and go to photo merge and then HDR and basically you just let it sit there for a couple seconds or a minute and it'll create an HDR preview and you can make some minor adjustments but then once it's finished at the end of your film strip or timeline you'll get another image that's an HDR of all of those while never having left Lightroom and from here like I said it is an raw file so you can continue to adjust it and you don't have to worry about degrading the quality of the image over time. Second, we have the ability to create panoramas easily once again directly within Lightroom without ever having to leave it. The process is basically exactly the same as what you did for an HDR image. You just select the images you want to use for the panorama, right click on it and go to photo merge and then panorama. Now once again you get a pretty basic menu just as you did for HDR and once it creates the panorama preview you can choose whether you want to auto crop it so that, that'll just remove the free space or the part where there's no image on the sides as you can see here and when once that's done you just hit merge and at the end of your film strip you have the completed panorama that's already cropped for you. Once again, I love how it's just so easy and it stays in Lightroom the entire time. This next feature solves one of the biggest annoyances with using the graduate filter or the radiance filter tool. So normally if I apply a filter and I only want to change the sky, and I'm just going to make this really dramatic so you can see, it would also affect the building or anything else in the foreground. But now if I go to the brush tool on the right, not on top but this little piece of text that says brush and select it and select auto mask and then hold down the alt key I can remove the building I can remove the parts where the filter is affecting and once that's done as you can see the filter is still being applied to the sky but not to the building in front and this is a really great feature as if you're doing some pretty dramatic things to the sky you don't really don't want that to be happening to the building in front so as you can see if I hover over now it's only affecting that compared to before when it was affecting the building and the sky. This next one's pretty hard to show on camera, but under the hood, Adobe made some major improvements to performance. So before it only used the CPU on your computer, but now if you go under performance and you check off use graphics processor, which should already be checked if you update, but now it'll utilize your computer's GPU and if you have integrated graphics, it'll use those and you'll get a pretty good boost to performance. Adobe even said like 10 or 20 times as fast on some things. And if you have a dedicated GPU, you'll probably see even faster improvements. And this is a pretty welcome update as Lightroom could be slow during some tasks previously. So while just using it a little today, I did notice a pretty good improvement in speed. I'm hoping I can do some actual tests in the future and maybe make a video so you can see how much faster it is. If you want to see that, leave a thumbs up down below in the comments, but just know that it will be faster than it was before. Finally, we have some pretty big updates to the slideshow functionality of Lightroom, so I haven't had as much time to play around with this, but under the playback options, you have manual and automatic, but under automatic, there's a pan and zoom, and you can now adjust how much you want to pan and zoom, and you can easily adjust the crossfade and how long you want each slide to last. And then also under music, once you add your tracks by clicking the plus, you can now actually either easily drag the different clips to rearrange which order they'll play in, and you can synchronize the photos to the music, which is a really cool feature. Like I said, I haven't had as much time to play around with this one, 
but I think it will be really cool to make some awesome slideshows, and I hope I get to use it some more in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below in the comments. It just lets me know if you guys like this kind of video or if you want to see me doing other things. I really do enjoy photography, so if you guys are interested, I'm thinking about starting to make more videos about it. But just make sure to like, subscribe, all of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.